my first choice was uh, Skittles. Um, and I say Skittles and not attributing it yet because there was a decision to be made. I mean, the, the, the battle was waged between uh, um, Touch versus Pinata. I, I think during the mid 2000s, uh, Graf, Reichenthal, and Vitrone kind of set about charting this course for, uh, for, for the Skittles brand in New York. It was out of TBWA New York, I think it was. And they made all this mad work where it was blank the rainbow, and cherish the rainbow, treasure the rainbow, touch the rainbow, whatever. Um, it was kind of this open door strategy that allowed you to do practically anything as a means of selling the USP of Skittles, which was this kind of uh, glorious, um, fruity, celebratory experience. The, the, the wonderful thing about these two ads is they were about um, joy and fruit and flavor, but at the same time there was this underlying sadness about each of the two ads. Touch was a man who was resigned to a fate where he, uh, anything he touched turned to Skittles and his, his life was compromised as a result. But then there, the pinata one, which, uh, which was about <laughs> chocolate Skittles. He was a man, but he was also a pinata. You, you open on the commercial and there had been an altercation between him and a, a co-worker where someone had taken a bat to him, imagining that because he was largely brown in hue, that chocolatey Skittles would spill out of his body. Is this what you are looking for? New chocolate flavored Skittles? I'm really sorry. What did you think was going to happen, Stephen? Did you think you were going to hit me with that bat and little chocolatey candies would come pouring out? Yes. I have to buy my Skittles downstairs. Like everybody else! I'm just like everyone else! All the best ads, they, they play on this, they're kind of like, they center around a human truth. And when an advertisement can leap over all the kind of the obvious human truths and go, there is sadness in our daily lives and here's a, here's a, here's a little kernel of that, enjoy this moment. So it was, it was exposing this precious moment of uh, insecurity that everyone feels, but demonstrated through a man who was a human pinata. The horrible thing about uh, comedy advertising is they're, they're great for one laugh, maybe two, and then you forget about them. But if it's done really, really well, and there's, there's a, a deeper, more resonant underlying meaning, um, then they can live on. And it's not just down to the comedic beats. And this, this thing, for me personally, didn't rely on any sort of big sight gag or end punchline. It was just a, a man screaming back into the room, into a vacuum, not particularly at anyone, about how he just wanted to be accepted like everyone else. Um, which would be sad normally, but that little twist that he, uh, he actually happens to be a human pinata just made it uh, all that extra bit perfect. And that's why pinata beats touch, but only by a hair. Um, by talking about the two of them together, you're probably gonna have to show both, which means that I may actually have four ads in my think box, three best ads, who knows. Uh, my second choice, uh, I think when you're looking at three ads, you kind of have to look at them in relation to each other. The first was comedy, the second is a lot less so. Um, uh, it's Honda Asimo. At face value, it's about progress and what Honda moving forward into the future, but really it's about humanity and the fact that they inject a degree of humanity into every bit of technology. It's a very quiet film. It's just a, a little robot walking through a museum and experiencing this museum. Having all these tiny little human moments in spite of the fact that he is a machine. And from the, the just the, the choice of framing and the sound design, it's just, it's very calming. The whole thing is, it's, uh, it's lovely. The voiceover at the end, it's just the phraseology, the language, it's just, it's just a little bit odd. Lines like, uh, more forward please, as a mantra, um, uh, or as a request. It's got an innate charm. I worry sometimes that we forget the smaller, the quiet ads, but the things that can still be meaningful in some um, greater way. We can sometimes forget that little moments can speak volumes. Tapping progress on the shoulder, 
and saying, more forwards, please. There's a, sort of a nostalgic appreciation for, um, it was kind of like the late 90s to the late 2000s uh, as being this incredible time for um, television advertising. My number three ad was um, kind of the last piece of very bold, very distinctive, um, why the hell would any client buy that and put that on air, a piece of advertising. Um, and as it turns out, uh, the client, although they bought the script, didn't end up airing the ad. Um, and we had a little back and forth here about what my third ad was going to be because um, there, uh, there are apparently uh, legal repercussions to actually showing this ad um, online anywhere. But the, the ad was for Cadbury Flake. It was Jonathan Glazer. Uh, I want to say it was like 2008 or 2009, uh, Succumb to the Crumb. Uh, it was an absolute masterpiece of uh, Jesus Christ, what were they thinking? It's just so good. What a treat. Okay, so this ad is soundtrack to uh, Alexander Borden's Prince Igor. The film opens, it's plumes of smoke. Out of the smoke emerges this kind of red devil creature with this long flowing black hair, black horns. He's painted red completely. His body lies languid over this kind of large stone sculpture. A lot of hard cuts. He's dancing. He's kind of flailing about. Um, he's in black leather trousers. He smiles. He kind of picks up this tail of his and swirls it around, kind of like he's swinging his devil tail and moves back, spins around, hurls his tail or whatever he was holding and um, whatever he's thrown kind of makes its way down this corridor of stone. It illuminates a pathway which ends up highlighting the fact that there are a series of bodies kind of at the end of this kind of uh, stone tunnel. It's four or five women all dressed in white. He's dancing down the set of stairs. He's swinging his arms back. He's, he's raising his hand up in front of his face almost kind of in a coquettish sort of way. He's manic. It's a confrontation between these, these women who he just met and this dance of his, it's, it's incredible. He looks at the lot of them. They're crawling towards him. His eyes are white, um, set against the, uh, the, the red paint of his body. It's, it's very disconcerting, troubling almost even. He's pawing at himself. He, he reaches behind and pulls out. What's he got in his hand? Oh my goodness, it's a flake bar. It's several flake bars. He picks them up. He starts hurling them at the women. I'm just now realizing this is a terribly sexist commercial. God, uh, if it wasn't shot so well, I'd, 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 I'd hate myself a little bit more. He starts hurling these chocolate bars at the women. They take the bars. They consume them. They love them. They, it's the greatest thing known to man or woman, uh, trying to mitigate some of the sexism. I'm feeling really bad about this now. Jonathan Glazer, you're a horrible person. Uh, the, the water behind him and in front of him illuminates. It's on fire. He has made these women succumb to the crumb, which is the end line. They love the chocolate bar. The little devil reigns victorious in his black leather pants. Denis Devant is the actor. Flames leap around him. The title comes up, succumb to the crumb in a very Dario Argento style. He swirls around as the music reaches a crescendo and you're out. Jesus Christ, what an absolutely mad experience. I kind of love the fact that it never made it to air because it was, it was, it was the, the funeral, the uh, unofficial funeral for that type of advertising, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but the, the fact that um, the, the client refused to, to air it and kind of lives on in infamy. Um, is a nice kind of mark as the end of an era. It's kind of like, we had this period, it's over now, let's be a little bit more responsible. Excuse me. New chocolate flavored Skittles? I'm really sorry.